What's up guys, it's Ivan and today I am going to share with you my Harvard Graduate School of Education acceptance story. I learned about my decision on March 6, 2015 or at around 4 p.m. So I anticipate that most of you will hear back this Friday about a decision if you applied for this cycle. If you did and you got accepted, please let me know your acceptance story in the comment section. Back in 2015, I decided I wanted to attend graduate school for a master's program. So I applied to 10 programs and three of those were Ivy Leagues. Those were my reach schools. So I applied to the University of Pennsylvania, Columbia University, and obviously Harvard University. And, you know, I secretly applied because I was afraid to tell people that I was applying to Ivy League schools only because I wasn't confident in myself and I thought that people were going to make fun of me and judge me because they thought that I would be smart enough to apply to these schools and get accepted. I didn't think I was going to get accepted, um, but I thought that I would give myself a shot and just kind of try it out and see what happens. And so I did that. I only told a, a few close friends and my advisors that I was applying to the three Ivy League schools. Yeah, so it was really a secret. No one knew. And then decision time came. On the HGSC website, you will see that they say that decisions will come out in late March, but that was a lie. You know, I was, you know, at that time I did expect expected to come out in late March. However, on March 6, 2015, around 4 p.m., I got this email notification saying that my decision was a decision was made and that I need to check my portal. And so I did. At 4 p.m., I was in this administration office because I was part of this program called the Ronald Lee McNair Achievement Program. And I was in this little section called the McNair Den. The, Mc the McNair Den allows um, participants in the program to convene and you know work on research talk about graduate schools the acceptances the rejections you, there's also a couple of computers that you can access to work on different projects whether it's research whether it's class um, work and you just kind of just convene with your other colleagues that, were, that are in the program that are dealing with the same um, emotion situations that you are because you are applying to graduate school so at that time we were discussing our acceptances so far. So at that time I had already gotten into Columbia and a few other of my schools that I applied to. Other students were sharing that they were accepted as well. And one student was sharing that he was accepted into Cornell for a master's program in ag agriculture or some type of environmental program. And so we were just sharing and then I see this email come up and it said HGSC. And, and on there I read, decision made, click here to um, access your portal. And so I got so nervous I stayed at my desk and really just stared at it. I was like, I got into my account. I saw the decision on there. I didn't want to click view because I was so nervous and scared. So after staring at my screen for, a, it seemed like a, like 10 minutes, but it was really probably only two minutes. I decided to take a couple of deep breaths and click enter. I clicked enter and the first thing that I saw was congratulations. I was in shock for a moment so I did not like really do anything. I didn't share with any of my colleagues that were in the McNair Den. I just stood there and was like what the heck and I was trying to really read quickly through the email and then I actually logged out and logged back in just to make sure that I was really accepted. So I did that and then after reading congratulations again I was like telling all my all my colleagues in the den they were all congratulating me we were hugging we were cheering i went outside to the administrator office i had some friends that worked there so i went to go tell them and then i told my advisors and everybody was so happy it was like one of the joyous moments in my life it was so incredible just to hear that someone had gotten accepted into harvard but it was so much fun it was exciting everybody was happy for me there was a lot of hugs um a lot of cheering and it was the end of the day on a Friday, so that even made it even better. Right after that, I started texting my family members, my sisters, my parents, um, my close friends, and then my sister reminded me of how we would joke around that um, we should apply to Harvard and frame our rejection letter, but actually we didn't have to do that because I actually got in, and so that was more excited because now we can see someone from my background who's low income, first generation, who is a minority, who is able to get into top Ivy League institutions regardless of the setbacks or challenges I have faced or we have faced. So um, it was so exciting to show others that are exactly like me that it is possible to get into these top schools if you prepare and you plan and you get involved and you apply.
so the, the best thing to do is apply and give yourself a shot. So after announcing it to all my colleagues in the McNair Den, telling my advisors, telling my parents, um, I went back home to my apartment and it turned out, it turns out that that same weekend was um, one of my friend's birthdays and she was throwing a birthday party. We ended up celebrating at that birthday party and it was the best thing we did and the rest is history. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my story of when I got accepted into the Harvard Graduate School of Education. If you get accepted this Friday or whenever those decisions come out, please let me know your story in the comment section. I would love to hear those. And it's always an exciting time. If you have questions about HGSC, whatever, graduate school, whatever it is, ask me in the comment section and I will gladly answer. I will see you in the next video.